Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going deep into the Java Virtual Machine or JVM, the powerful engine that runs every Java program behind the scenes. If you are learning Java or preparing for interviews, understanding how the JVM works internally is one of the most important steps in becoming a real developer. Let's begin. Every time you write and run a Java program, the JVM quietly does all the heavy lifting. It loads your code, manages memory, compiles it into machine understandable instructions and handles execution. But how exactly does it do all that? To understand that, we need to look inside the JVM and explore its internal components. Let's start from the top with the class loader. When you run a Java program, the class loader is the very first component to step in. It takes the .class files, the compiled bytecode and loads them into memory. The class loader doesn't just throw everything into memory all at once. It loads classes lazily, meaning only when they're needed. This helps with efficiency and keeps memory usage optimized. Once the class loader finishes loading classes, that bytecode is handed over to something called the runtime data areas. This area is like the brain of the JVM. It holds everything required to run the program, including the class area, heap, stack, program counter register and the native method stack. Let's break this down. The class area is where metadata is stored. This includes things like class names, method names, field names and runtime constant pool. If you imagine each class has a blueprint, the class area keeps all of those blueprints ready for use. Then we have the heap, which is probably the most important area for Java developers to understand. The heap is where all the objects are created and stored. So anytime you create a new object using new, it lives here. Java's garbage collector keeps an eye on this space. If an object is no longer reachable, it will be marked for cleanup and the memory is reclaimed. Now let's talk about the stack. Each thread in Java has its own private stack. The stack holds method calls and local variables. Whenever a method is called, a new block called a stack frame is added to the stack. When the method finishes, that frame is popped off. Because every thread gets its own stack, stack memory is not shared. That makes it faster and safer for multi-threading. Next is the program counter register or just PC register. This tiny but important part of the JVM keeps track of which instruction is currently being executed. It points to the current line of bytecode for the active method. Again, each thread has its own PC register. Then we have the native method stack. Java is designed to interact with native code like C or C++ code using something called JNI or Java Native Interface. When native methods are called, their information goes here into the native method stack. So now we've loaded the class, stored the code and data in memory. But how is this code actually executed? That job belongs to the execution engine. The execution engine takes the bytecode instructions and starts executing them. It doesn't interpret every single line every time. Instead, it uses a technique called just-in-time compilation or JIT. Here's how it works. The first time a method runs, it's interpreted, meaning the engine reads the bytecode one instruction at a time. But if a method is called repeatedly, the JIT compiler kicks in and compiles that method into native machine code for faster execution. This makes Java perform nearly as fast as compiled languages like C++. Now let's talk about another piece, the native method interface. This component acts like a bridge between the JVM and external libraries or native applications. If your Java code needs to call a C function or talk to your operating system directly, this is where the communication happens. So putting it all together, the class loader loads your class, the runtime data area stores the instructions, objects, variables, and metadata. The execution engine runs your bytecode efficiently and the native method interface helps Java interact with code outside the JVM. Now let's quickly trace how a simple Java program moves through the JVM. You write the code and compile it. The class loader picks up the class and sends it to the runtime data area. Objects are created in the heap, local variables live in the stack, instructions are tracked in the PC register, and if any native code is called, the native method stack steps in. The execution engine reads the bytecode and when needed, compiles it to machine code for blazing fast performance. Everything happens so quickly, it feels like magic. 
But now you know exactly how the JVM makes it work. Understanding this architecture not only helps you write better Java code, it also helps you debug performance issues, memory leaks or crashes more effectively. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.